A variety of operative approaches are available for gynecologic surgeons, including laparoscopic, open, vaginal, and robotic, and all require the surgeon's body to move through and maintain a variety of positions. The physical nature of surgery necessitates an awareness of ergonomic principles. However, adequate knowledge of such principles has been reported to be as low as 11% among practicing surgeons. Findings in the literature based primarily on reports of general laparoscopic surgeons indicate high rates of neck, shoulder, and back pain, as high as 89% in one study. Sadly, for many surgeons, pain is seen as part of the job rather than a warning that postural and environmental adjustments are warranted. Fortunately, many of the factors that contribute to the pain surgeon's experience can be improved through education, modification of OR setup, and changes in surgeon posture. The following elements of the operating room environment must be considered. Monitor position and height. Table height relative to each surgeon. Placement of arm boards. And location of foot pedals. The position of the monitor directly affects back and neck posture for all surgeons involved. The display should be directly in front of each surgeon, 15 to 40 degrees below eye level for maximum comfort. Higher monitor placement requires the surgeon to compensate with extension in the cervical and possibly lumbar spines. When determining proper table height, the additional height contributed by the patient's body must be considered. Table position that is too high requires the surgeon to make unnecessary compensations through the shoulder girdle that create increased load and mechanical disadvantage. Table height should be adjusted to allow 90 to 120 degrees of elbow flexion. In some cases this may require one or more surgeons to stand on steps. The common practice of placing arm boards at 90 degrees from the patient's body can challenge the surgeon's ability to achieve and maintain optimal ergonomic posture. When possible, tuck the patient's arms, which allows for more natural and ergonomically sound surgeon movement. Foot pedals should be placed next to the surgeon's foot and aligned with the target instruments toward the target quadrant. Positions that cause the surgeon to twist the leg or body should be avoided and assistance may be required to readjust the pedal position. If the surgeon is standing on a step, the pedal must be at the same level off the ground. Along with this basic understanding of the ergonomic importance of proper OR setup, three common ergonomic errors in surgeon posture will be presented. These include forward head posture, sustained and awkward shoulder elevation, and asymmetry in weight bearing. Head forward posture is a common cause of tension and pain in the upper body. It can accelerate degenerative changes, particularly in the mid-cervical spine at the segment supplying the shoulder girdle. For every inch the head moves forward in space, its relative weight increases by 10 pounds, upping the demand on muscles and joints for adequate support. Developing a practice of habitual postural resets is recommended. Excessive and sustained shoulder abduction and internal rotation is non-optimal for many reasons. This position requires the greatest workload from the deltoid and trapezius, creating a mechanical disadvantage and predisposing to fatigue and injury. The postural reset here is to drop your shoulders and relax the hands. In the OR, surgeons commonly shift their weight and will stand on one foot, frequently due to foot pedal use. However, this habit can have significant implications for the pelvis and lower back. When the majority of the body weight is on one lower extremity, excessive shear and load in the structures of the lower extremity and spine can result contributing to pain and injury. The proper position to avoid these issues is to keep the feet approximately hips width apart. Avoid shifting weight to one hip. Be sure not to lock the knees. 
Rather, when weight is shifted asymmetrically, gently engage the deep muscles of the trunk and pelvis to maintain a neutral position. Footstools can be used, provided that proper pelvic and lower extremity position is maintained. Again, avoid shifting weight to one hip, which leads to asymmetrical loading through the lower extremity. Given the sustained nature of many surgeons' postures, it is helpful to periodically move the body into counterbalancing positions during any natural breaks in surgery. An arm raise, as shown here, uses full shoulder elevation, external rotation, and scapular depression and retraction to counterbalance the habitual upper body positions previously described. Draw the scapula down and back toward the middle of the back as the sternum lifts slightly with bilateral or unilateral arm raises. Squatting, as if sitting back to a chair, is an easily performed multi-joint functional exercise that engages the large muscles of the lower body and reinforces symmetrical weight bearing and neutral spinal position, all without compromising the sterility of the operative field. It has been suggested that robotic surgery confers ergonomic benefits for the surgeon over both open and conventional laparoscopic surgery. However, proper attention must be paid to ergonomic principles while the surgeon is seated at the console. In particular, proper posture and upper extremity position at the console are crucial in order to avoid neck, back, and arm strain. The robotic console requires the forehead to rest on pads while viewing the operative field through the 3D high-definition vision system. The forearm should rest comfortably on the arm supports, the torso should be erect, and the feet should be comfortably placed on the floor. If adjustments are not made to the seat and console height, the surgeon may be forced into an awkward position of the spine, neck, and upper body. Without proper adjustment that is individualized, forward head posture and improper shoulder positioning will result and be sustained throughout the case. Adjustments of the seat height and proximity to the console can yield marked improvements in posture without compromise of the visual field. To avoid muscle strain and fatigue in the shoulders and elbows, it is crucial for the surgeon to remember to keep returning the arms to the arm supports and to frequently engage the clutch mechanism on the hand controls. We suggest that consideration of OR setup, proper standing posture, practice of postural resets, and regard for sitting posture and upper extremity position during robotic surgery are necessary components for a longer, healthier, and pain-free surgical career.